Hey guys and welcome back to PlumbingPartsPro.com. Today we're going to talk about backflow preventers or BFPs. We're going to talk about how they work and why you need them in your home or business. So check out this video coming up next. So backflow preventers or BFPs for short is a safety device and there's many different types of backflow preventers. You may have seen one like this. This little screw on device here, you hook your garden hose up to it. If you ever um, hook a hose in a sprayer uh, to wash your car, that will sometimes apply back pressure because it's shutting it off and water may leak out of here. It's kind of annoying sometimes, but that's doing its job. Same thing with this one here. That's the the backflow preventer, or also called a vacuum breaker. But these are actually larger uh, backflow preventers. Uh, this you would find probably on a small uh, to medium sized business, commercial building. And this is a Watts 009 inch and a half valve. And you've got your water inlet here. Water comes in, uh, got a ball valve. It's got two checks in here uh, for the safety device and the vent. So if there was an issue where there was any back pressure coming in off this, uh, the discharge side of this backflow preventer, it would vent out the bottom or vent out the drain and drain outside, depending upon where it's uh, installed in the home or business. And that way, any contaminants don't get back into the city drinking water system. This one here is one you see on a lot of well and irrigation lines. Um, You've got the, uh, the incoming line here. It comes through this Wilkins 720A and the discharge out to your irrigation. So for example, if uh, the reason we use these is a lot of people will fertilize their lawn, make their lawn look nice and green, in the, especially in the spring and summertime, and they'll put down fertilizer. Uh, and these are chemicals. So if you have those pop-up water sprinklers in your irrigation system and let's just say by some chance we lose water pressure in the city or in your neighborhood and those contaminants those chemicals you put in your lawn could potentially go back down into those heads through the water system and into the main city drinking water system and that could be a very dangerous thing you could have chemicals in the water system when they turn the water back on or charge the the system back up and then people will be showering in chemicals, um, drinking chemicals in their water. So this is a safety feature. So if, if the, the city loses the pressure, if there's a back pressure on here, it will vent out of this top, just like it will vent out of the bottom of the RP. So these have to be tested on an annual basis uh, and reported to your local city by city code. Um, that's what these little test ports are for. We got test ports here. And just to make sure it's operating correctly, you can get a uh, plumbing professional to test those. It usually runs anywhere from $80 to $120 to have them tested on an annual basis. They'll leave you the paperwork, usually send it off to the city for you and uh, get everything set up so you don't have to worry about it. Um, but these are really important, so if you don't have one, if you're thinking about putting an irrigation system in, make sure you put one in. Granted, this is only for city water applications. If it's a well, you really don't need it. Um, it. It's just so it doesn't get back into that city water system. If you guys have any questions about backflow preventers, uh, send me an email, info at plumbingpartspro.com, or just comment down below. And uh, guys, thank you, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, hit the like button and check out the next video. And make sure you subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.